Well, Astropack specializes in plastic packaging, both flexibles and rigids. It has a market cap of 892 million rand, a price to earnings ratio of 37, and skipped its dividend in its last reported results. Skipping a dividend is never a good place to mm. start. Is it under extreme pressure at the moment, Paul? Yeah, if you read the last few uh, years of results from Astropack, it's obviously not a happy picture. They're complaining about uh, crummy conditions in uh, both rigids, which is things like you know rigid plastic uh, bottles that they put milk and stuff into, as well as flexibles, which is you know uh, cereal packets. Yes, and also the sort of stuff that uh, you know uh, crisps and that sort of thing goes into cellophanes, that sort of thing. Uh, the sense I have is that they've been losing market share to other players and we know who the other players are, we were talking about them earlier. Um, the company has been through a CEO change, basically uh, Manly Didloff, the new CEO is the old financial director and you can see there's a lot of talk about this business being discontinued, that being discontinued, so battling. Uh, the sh anchor shareholder though is Lareco Metier, so they've kind of got a base there but it just looks as though the business has got a lot to prove and you can see the share price has been a bit bumpy. A bit bumpy, that's the understatement <laughs> of, the, of the year. It's been incredibly bumpy with the, the peaking in 2010. This is obviously a five-year graph and we're currently trading just below eight rand. Would that be correct, Viv? Six rand 60, I think it Six is. Six rand 60. Viv, your, your mm -hmm. sentiments on Astropack. Uh, as Paul mentioned, they've been complaining about conditions, but everyone else has the same conditions they're working under. And so if other companies are able to take out your market share in the same conditions, it just points to you know, bad management. As Paul mentioned, management has not been stable recently which is not another good sign for the company. And when the financial director mm. stands into the, the CEO's position, it's not as though there's a big shake-up in management. It's got to mean that yeah. the same line of thinking is in play. You know, I remember visiting a flexible plastics factory with Basil Hersov about uh, 20 years ago, and he walked in and said, this is a horrible business. They owned it. And he said, this business is always making excuses for why they don't make any money. Understand that when you're in manufacturing and you're producing food and related items, you always view the packaging people as an irritation and as a cost and something you've got to try and hammer down as low as possible. Plus, But then, you have to have packaging. But then remember also your input cost in packaging is basically uh, plastics. You've got to buy the raw material and big sacks from people like Sassol and they're terrible to deal with, terrible. So you get pressure on both sides. Exactly. So this is a sort of ham in the sandwich. And then just when you think you've got your costs under control, somebody comes in with a cheaper product from China or gets it packaged somewhere else or your you know, guy you were supplying goes out of business because the RAND got too high and so on. So clearly not an easy sector by any means. And if you're really not running it well and you don't have a particularly secure capital base, then you're a double sort of whammy type. Well, I can tell you one thing. We're not making any friends in the <laughs> packaging and paper space today. Viv, I ah. hope you're not going to be inundated with hate mail. <laughs> um, I'm also quite pessimistic on Astropack. Uh, as Paul mentioned, you know, the margins aren't great. And they're in an in a, in a environment in which, like, they, like I mentioned before, I mean, the competitors are beating them. And so you, you're in a very competitive environment and you're not doing as well as the other guys. The general, I think, overall business plan is not, or business case is not, is not as strong as some of the other companies out there, and they don't seem to have the management, you know, know-how or history backing them that makes me think they'd be able to turn it around anytime soon. Well, I think we've got to rest on that analogy: the ham in the sandwich, pressure uh -huh. from both sides. Nobody wants to be the yeah, ham. Do and they? they're already trading on a 33 PE, so you can see that in a sense, what's happened here is the results have been weak, but the share price is still sort of hanging around there at a level where perhaps some people are anticipating a recovery. So that makes it quite vulnerable. So definitely not a hot. Hot food. or not, Viv, on Astropack? <laughs> not hot at all. Hot no. or not.